Hey everybody, JD here. Um, I'm probably going to struggle through this video. As you can hear, I've got uh, the throat thing going on. I've been sick this week and I've been to the doctor twice and uh, so yeah, I'm still struggling with it. And so my voice is going to sound terrible. And then, you know, you got the accent on top of it. Uh, but I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you today about and I had uh, actually mentioned this in another video, is about this little area under your eye. I'm gonna, and when I tilt my head down, you can see like the little, there's like a little bag there. Uh, and I see a lot of people that will take uh, concealers and they'll try to conceal this area. Uh, I'm gonna talk today about light and dark and I'll give you a little, his a little lesson, a little art lesson. Um, this area right here, this is actually really the area that you would want to use concealer on. As you can see, it's, and I've had like circles under my eyes, uh, I, probably since my 20s, but right in that little area right there, right there is a little dark area. And then of course you have this little area right here, maybe if I turn sideways, you can see it better. You can see that little, that little bag under there. When you put concealer, on your bag it lightens it and if you add light to anything it's going to make it more pronounced uh, it's like in contouring you know we contour our cheeks right here because we want to have more sculpted cheeks so we put dark right here and we highlight up in this area because we want it to be raised up more it's the same principle when you're working in that little area right there. And I'm gonna get, do a little illustration here, maybe help it make it more sense. Um, this is a painting, I don't know if you can see it very well. This is a, a painting of a whippet that I did in 1995. Uh, as I've mentioned, uh, I'm an artist and I've been doing art my whole life. And I originally did oil paintings and then I got into other areas of art. But anyway, what I'm gonna talk about today is a, a principle of building muscle and adding shadows in a painting. When I did this painting, what I really wanted to uh, what I really wanted to show was that there was bone and muscle under the skin. Your face is like a canvas. It's the same principle as this. And if you look right here in this area right here, and I don't know if you can see it very well. All right, there. Okay, you can see right there. You can almost see the dog's muscle. Okay, that is an area that's been highlighted. To make that stand out, there's a little dark area right beside it. And it, it, it will allow the area to be pushed out. It's the same thing with up around the dog's neck. Do you see this right here? You can actually see the bone in the dog's neck and right here. Well, how that's created is right there, you have a light color. Right below it, you have a dark color. The dark works as the shadow, and it's going to push the light area out. Same principle in the background. You see right here, it looks like there's depth right there, and that's because it's a dark area. The leg, you know, you have to remember that I, when I painted this, it's on a flat surface. So this leg has to look like it's further back. So it has, it's painted dark to push it back. That same principle works on your face. If you're putting highlighter and concealer that's a very light color in this area right here, what you're causing is that area is gonna push out and that's not what you want. You want it to set back. So, be careful when you're when you're putting concealer right there because if you have bags under your eyes and this what I'm talking about today is strictly for people that do have bags under their eyes it's going to cause that area to be more pronounced so when I put my makeup on I don't use any um, concealers under my eyes I could put some right here but at the end of the day uh, it really just doesn't do any good. It it, it creeps around and uh, it will creep up into this area and then I end up with that popping out and that's not what I want. I hope that makes sense. This is my art lesson 101. <laughs> um, 
If you have any questions or comments about what I'm talking about, please leave a note down below and I'll get back to you. And I, again, I'm so sorry I sound terrible, but I got, I'm, I'm struggling through my, my whole voice thing. Um, I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. It means a lot to me. Uh, I want to thank uh, Melissa55 for giving me a shout out on Instagram. That means a lot to me. And, and she's always been a, a really good friend of mine and, and a, a very precious person. And, and I'm honored and flattered that she would think of me and, and give me a shout out. And so I'm going to leave her, her uh, channel down below. And if you haven't checked her out, please do. She's a very, very, um, a very sweet person. And I know you'll enjoy her channel. Um, I also wanted to say that I got my hair cut. <laughs> I know y'all probably can't tell. Uh, I, I have the kids are on their way and I've had to kind of hurry and get ready and, and uh, I'm really not fixed up or nothing this morning, but I'm just having on a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. But uh, yeah, I did. I had, uh, believe it or not, I've had uh, about two inches cut off uh, and I had it, the back of it, I don't know if you can tell, um, has been layered. Uh, it had gotten to where it, it was really just kind of turning into one length back there and it wouldn't curl. And so I'm, I'm very happy with it. And I really think that I would like to have more cut off, but I'm, I'm going to work my way up to it so I don't throw myself into a shock. <laughs> um, I guess that's all that I have to say today. I, again, I appreciate you being here and I hope y'all have a good day. Thanks.